The Turkish military has recently bolstered its firepower with the introduction of the KSS ground-based missile system, a cutting-edge platform that employs aircraft missiles equipped with a laser guidance system. The first batch of these systems has been delivered, marking a significant enhancement to Turkey's defense capabilities. This development was first reported by the Turkish defense publication, Savunma Sinai EST. At the heart of the KSS system is a launcher mounted on the versatile Toyota Hilux SUV chassis, offering high mobility for battlefield deployment. The system is outfitted with the Aselsan Karakurt optical reconnaissance and laser guidance system, positioned on the vehicle's roof. This advanced system is capable of detecting targets independently firing missiles and guiding them to their destination. This makes the KSS a highly autonomous solution for combat scenarios. While it is fully capable of operating independently, the KSS system is also designed for integration into larger combat networks. Thanks to its compliance with standardized illumination means, STANAG 3733, it can collaborate with other military assets, including drones or infantry equipped with target illuminators. This flexibility enhances its tactical value in joint operations, allowing for coordinated strikes across different platforms. Much like the U.S.-developed APKWS, Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, the KSS system uses guided versions of the 70mm Hydra rockets. In this case, Turkey employs the HYDRA air-launched unguided rockets, which have been adapted with a locally produced CRT laser guidance system by Roketsin, a leading Turkish defense contractor. The CRT missile offers precision engagement capabilities that are critical for countering both soft targets, such as infantry positions and lightly armored vehicles. While the range of the KSS system has not been publicly disclosed, comparable European systems can engage targets at distances of up to 5,000 meters giving a sense of its potential operational reach. Roketsin's CRT missile is designed to bridge the gap between traditional unguided 70mm rockets and heavier, more costly anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs. This middle ground offers a cost-effective solution with high accuracy, making it ideal for providing close air or ground support for infantry units. The system can also serve as a replacement for more traditional forms of fire support such as mortars and light artillery. Notably, the CRT missile is versatile, capable of being launched from aircraft, ground vehicles, and even naval platforms, provided they are equipped with compatible launchers. There is also mention of its potential use as an interceptor missile against airborne threats, although there is currently no evidence of a non-contact fuse in the system to support this function. The KSS system offers not only tactical advantages, but also economic efficiency. In 2013, Roketsin signed a deal to deliver 10,000 CRT missiles with a contract value of $190 million. This places the estimated cost of each missile at roughly $19,000, a price comparable to around 19 artillery mines. The relatively low cost, combined with its multi-role capabilities, makes the Sirid-equipped KSS system a highly attractive option for military forces seeking a balance between performance and affordability. The KSS system is not the only one of its kind. The Ukrainian Marine Corps, for instance, employs a comparable platform with the APKWS-2 system mounted on HMMWV tactical vehicles. This highlights a broader trend in military forces adopting flexible, mobile missile systems to engage ground targets with precision at a reduced cost. The KSS ground-based missile system represents a strategic advancement for Turkey's military. With its laser-guided CRT missiles, the system fills a crucial niche between unguided rockets and heavier anti-tank missiles, offering precision, versatility, and cost-effectiveness. As Turkey continues to modernize its defense capabilities, the KSS system will likely play a key role in providing fire support for infantry and ensuring more efficient, coordinated operations across air and ground assets.